So, you've given up drinking dairy milk because A, you care about the planet, B, you care about the cows, C, you're a vegan, or D, milk in glass bottles is too expensive and milk in plastic bottles, well, it's in plastic. As lame as it sounds, the latter was actually my main driver for giving up my lifelong two pints a day habit. But seriously, if you have swapped dairy milk, oh no, not that, this, this, for almond milk, and you've done it because you care about the planet. Actually, even if you've done it for another reason, but do still care about the planet, and let's face it, everyone should, then this video is for you. But I'm not kidding, I really did give up drinking cow's milk because I was concerned about the amount of plastic I was actually generating. And that if I swapped to milk in glass bottles, it was going to cost me roughly the cost extra of half a dozen cases of decent wine every year. Well, the wine one. But in putting together a video on the subject, which you'll see here, um, which must be one of the most hated videos on YouTube, my eyes were open to other issues, which you can discover, well, by going here. But anyway, we are not talking about dairy milk today. I'm not again. Um, I'm going to be talking about almond milk and why I think it is nuts. Coming up, I'll be comparing almond milk to Pol Pot and cow's milk to Hitler and talking about kamikaze bees, which all ties into four really good reasons that you may not yet know as to why almond milk is seriously bad for the planet. And finally, stick around for the Why Aren't People Angry About This post bag, where I read out some mail from, well, some really angry people. So do stay tuned for that. But if you don't have time to watch this entire video just now, why not, after wiggling the like button, subscribe to my channel and check back later. I don't know why people listen to me, but you're listening to me right now. But I don't want you to listen to me. I want you to listen to the science. I, I don't mock you, Greta. I I've actually stolen that from Greta Thunberg. Thunberg, I think you say. But anyway, seriously, let me give you some facts rather than science. In science, a fact is an observation that's been confirmed so many times that scientists can, for all intents and purposes, accept it as true. But everything in science comes with a level of uncertainty. So nothing is ever scientifically true beyond a shadow of a doubt. So let's start here. Is it fact, is it science, or am I just nuts? <laughs> all plant-based milk alternatives are better for the planet than cow's milk. And all plant-based milk alternatives are better for cows than cow's milk. See earlier video. Although this week's post bag comes from a lady who thinks otherwise. So do stay tuned for that. But back to almond milk. The greenhouse emissions to produce a litre of almond milk is less than a third of the emissions to produce a litre of cow's milk. So that's good. In fact, when it comes to CO2, if you were to drink this litre of milk in the same field where it is produced, almond milk beats each of rice milk, oat milk and soy milk. This is how it stacks up. To produce one litre of dairy milk, it takes three kilos of CO2. Rice milk takes 1.2 kilos of CO2. Soy milk takes one kilo of CO2 and oat milk 0.99 kilos of CO2. And in first place, we have almond milk at 0.7 kilos of CO2 per litre of milk. So it sounds great, doesn't it? It does. This is actually fact, not science. But here is the rub, well, one of the rubs, so don't switch off yet. That only works without the air miles, i.e. you actually have to drink it in the field where it is produced. Otherwise, you have to add the air miles. And since 80% of the world's almonds are grown in California, in California's Central Valley in actual fact, so unless you live there, you need to ask yourself, how far away is that from you? For me, that's over 5,000 miles. 5,000 miles for a pint of milk. And if you do live in California, you might be interested to know that roughly 10% of the water in a state with a perennial and serious water shortage is used to grow almonds. 
and send them around the world to people like me. In fact, it takes 371 litres of water to produce just one litre of almond milk. I know it sounds nuts. Look it up. I'm not making this shit up. Although this does compare very favourably with dairy milk that, requir that requires a massive 628 litres of water to produce just one litre of cow's milk. The difference is that, and I'm really not defending cow's milk here, but you can rear cows almost anywhere. But like avocados, don't get me stuck on avocados, almonds only tend to grow in hot and dry desert-like conditions. And therein lies probably the biggest problem. But let's be honest about these favourable comparisons with dairy milk. Will you stop doing that? It wasn't funny the first time. It, it is honestly, it's like comparing Pol Pot to Hitler. You wouldn't have either of them round for a cup of coffee. Just because Pol Pot only managed to kill around 2 million people compared to Hitler's 6 million, it does not make him a good guy. So don't have almond milk round for coffee. See what I did there? But anyway, here's some more facts. The bees, the bees, we all know about the bees. We all know about the importance of bees now. Almost 70% of American commercial bees are drafted into California every year to pollinate the, the almonds and only two thirds of them actually make it home alive with hives dying en masse. But let's get back to the water issue again and link it to the bees and the local people. First, it requires almost an entire gallon of water to grow a single almond in an area that has an increasingly more serious shortage of drinking water. Almost a gallon of water for each almond. That's nuts and indeed a fact. But here is the double whammy and let's link this all together. Because of the ridiculous amounts of pesticides required to grow almonds on an industrial scale, the pesticides are finding their way into the already depleted local water source. That's your drinking water if you live in California. I've already put a few videos out on the bottled water industry, which you can see here. But seriously, if you didn't have Pol Pot in your coffee, these people wouldn't need to buy bottled water. Of the residues of the nine different pesticides found on almonds, five of them are actually toxic to honeybees. These are the honeybees that are required to pollinate the almond trees in the first place. So they send these bees out, kamikaze style, to get bee COVID and take it home to their hives. It is crazy. Seriously, you couldn't make this shit up, and I'm not. This is fact. So let's look at this, let's break this down. So you've got in no particular order, you've got the water issue, you've got the air miles, you've got the bees, you've got the pesticides. Almond milk is not good for the planet. So what can you do? Well, I'll tell you. If you had to choose milk at all, I chose to give up milk completely, actually, in the end, and you can see that in my videos. But if you are going to choose to drink milk at all, choose oat milk, and please share this video with the people you know and help me spread the word. And if you're still with me, please do stick around for the why aren't people angry about this post bag, which is coming up next. But before you go there, if you do care about this stuff, please do share this video with your friends. I think I already said that. Anyway, you, I can't say it enough. And subscribe to my channel. It's entirely free to do so. And if you hit the little bell button, you'll get notified every time I put out a new video. So you won't need to miss a thing, which is every Thursday, by the way. Oh, and don't forget to whoosh the like button and let me have your constructive comments or feedback. Coming up next is the post bag. I get lots of messages. I do. I get lots of ma mail and some of it's good, uh, some of it's constructive, uh, some of it's uh, so long and detailed uh, it would take me an entire video just to read one of those out. Um, and, and some of it is just batshit crazy. In fact, some of it is so batshit crazy that I'm convinced that some of these people are actually just doing it just so as I can read these out. So. If this is you, uh, Sue Allen from Dallas, then uh, here we go. I'm pretty sure that, 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 that Sue Allen here um, is one of those sort of really well-meaning sort of people. I think she's the sort of person who works at, who would work in a concentration camp and kid herself that uh, she's doing the Jews a favour. 
uh, by by locking them up because they're safer there than they are outside. Or the sort of person who, who shoots people at the Mexican border and, and thinks he's doing, the, you know, showing them mercy or something. But anyway, this is this is what Sue Allen has to say. These people are so effing stupid. I think that's me. It's life, dude. Oh yeah, that's definitely me. It's not called cruel for no reason. People like this really need to, ju to see just how cruel Mother Nature is since they think humans are cruel. Lol. You think those cows are living bad? Okay, let them graze in the wild and have to find their own green pastures. Let them worry about finding their own clean drinking water. Let them worry every night whether they will be eaten alive by a pack of coyotes. <laughs> it's actually hilarious. It's, it's classic justification uh, for living as we do life is cruel but nature and nature is cruel but slaughtering a cow after four years uh, of being cooped up is not nature you know a cow will live up to 18 years 18 years if left to its own device assuming it doesn't get eaten by coyotes so this is just batshit crazy Anyway, Sue Ellen, thank you. That was nice.